Hey, what is going on, music community? My name is Dan. I'm Cassette Mayhem. Welcome to my channel. Uh, been a long time since I've done a video. Uh, like everything else, things just get busy. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, I'm going to do this video as a, uh, my top five uh, albums of 2020. I was going to do a top 10. I thought I would narrow it down to five. Uh, this was extremely hard for me to do. I will throw honorable mentions in there. I think in total in 2020, I got right around 20, 19 or 20 albums from 2020. I'm going to show you five. I'll give you a few honorable mentions in there as well. And then, um, yeah. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, hopefully a video this afternoon um, on uh, part three of that massive VCLT that I got from Greg at Blackmore Rules. Oh man, it must be three months ago. I did two videos and I just never got around to doing the third video and I just got so busy and tied up. And again, uh, Greg, my apologies for that. I should have just went ahead and did the video and I just, he knew, I just, I wasn't in the right place. I just didn't feel like doing videos or making videos. So I did explain that to Greg and uh, we'll get the ball rolling on that. All right, but for this video, is strictly five albums from 2020. Uh, I've 2020 produced some amazing metal this year, uh, from Raven to Armored Saints, Onslaught, uh, Havoc. Uh, obviously, uh, I can't remember where it was now, but uh, a lot of great new albums came out this year. Next year in 2021, I got a funny feeling it's going to be even more albums. Uh, the reason being with COVID. I think a lot of bands were writing a lot of music and they weren't touring, they weren't playing, they're were writing. So I got a funny feeling 2021, you're gonna see a ton of new metal come out next year. Really looking forward to January because we get the new Accept album. Uh, so I really cannot wait for that. Uh, in the works, I guess Overkill is getting a new album coming out in 2021 as well. Again, cannot wait for these albums. So I'm not going to make this video too, too long. I'm going to jump right in, show you my top five albums, 2020. I'll throw a few of the uh, uh, honorable mentions in there. Again, top five for me was really, really hard for me to do. But again, it's like anything else. You, you just, you work with it, you break it down, you listen to these albums, you're like, you know something? Yeah, this, this is a good album. But before we do that, let's have a cheers. Merry Christmas to all my subscribers out there, all my friends on Facebook, Instagram, you all follow me, you're all asking me where I've been. I've been right here, I haven't been doing any videos. Again, sort of just lost it for a bit, but here I am. We're gonna have a drink, salute. This is a Picker, uh, Picker Rooms Ale, which is uh, locally brewed here in Fredericton. Amazing, amazing beer. Again, Merry Christmas, salute. All right. So, number five, this album went so back and forth in the top five. It seemed like when I would play it, I would want to rank it high, and then I rank it low, want to rank it high, want to rank it low. But I thought, you know something? What better way to put it except right smack dab in the middle at number five? And I'm talking about the new Armored Saint. This is Punching the Sky. Um... Absolutely. Actually, that's what I'm playing in the background right now. That's what I'm listening to. Um, this is just an absolute amazing album. John Bush, his vocals never skip a beat. His vocals are still solid. They're still clean. Uh, you know, Armored Saint, if you go all the way back to, when was it, 85, 86 for Can You Deliver? Uh, they've just put out amazing albums. They just never seem to disappoint. Uh, again, vocally, John Bush is just an absolute master. His vocals are just, to this day, 35 years later, still solid. Um, Armor of Saint Punching the Sky came in at number five because it, it's just an absolute amazing, amazing album. I love this album. It's going to get a lot of playtime uh, for me. It's been getting a lot of playtime uh, for the last little while, but... There you go, coming in at number five, we're gonna go with Armored Saint, Punching the Sky. 
Number four, number four again. Uh, this was an absolutely amazing album. Uh, it came out, it was released in April. I heard it in April and was completely blown away. It was like, my, oh, I just, I gotta get this album so bad. I know there's a lot of people out there that's not really into this style of music. I know Mark G will see that will appreciate this album. Uh, Al over at Toxic Trace. Uh, Poland, black metal. Uh, I'm talking about none other than this is Vader. Uh, you're going to get a glare off that. So this is Solitude in Madness. This is just an absolute, flat out amazing death metal album. This, I have played this so much in the last six months. I knew when I was going to do a, a, a top five, top ten for 2020, this was going to be a top five. It was going to be a no-brainer for me. Uh, just an absolute amazing album. And the CD just fell out because the little prongs on the inside are broke. That ticks me off all the time when I buy new albums. Vader, Solitude and Madness. Uh, if you've never heard this album, if you've never heard this album, check it out. Absolute masterpiece. Vader does it right too, right? It's just an absolute amazing band from Poland. Black Metal, again, there's coming in at number four. We're going with Solitude of Madness. This is the black metal Vader. Absolutely amazing. All right, number three. Number three uh, and two. I could have threw so many great albums in here, and I thought long and hard about it, and I was like, wow. It's just, you know, over the last couple of weeks, I've been playing all of these albums over again because I was trying to play somewhere I want to put them. And what number they should be and and this one here i i knew it was going to be in my top five um i just didn't think it was going to be where it was but it turned out that's where it was going to be because it's just an absolute great album barry a thrashers this is testament uh with the uh the titans of creation uh absolutely amazing album that came out earlier this year in 2020 uh a Dream Deceiver, I think, would still be my favorite track off this album. This album is just straight up, you know what you're getting from Testament. Um, since since the Brotherhood of the Snake, the last couple albums, you know what you're getting. Titans was no different. It was just an absolutely amazing album. Um, every song, again, when I first got this back in April, it got a lot of playtime. I just played it a few weeks ago for the first time in a couple of months. Refresh my memory, and it is just an absolute, absolutely amazing album. So there is Testament. This is, uh, again, Titans of Creation. It came in at number three. Again, I was throwing it back and forth in my top five, and I put it at number three because it is a really good album, and it's one of my top three for 2020. Uh, number two, this album came out earlier this summer. Can't remember exactly the date that it came out now, but it was it was throughout the summer. I want to say July, August, maybe. Uh, first time I heard it was completely floored, blown right away. Uh, I remember hearing the album and was just again was like, oh my god, like it's such a killer, killer album. Coming in at number two, I think this gonna be a, this album is gonna make a lot of people's top five. Top 10 for sure, if not top 5. This was my number 2 album of 2020, and I am talking about Onslaught. And this is, uh, sorry, Generation Increase. Uh I should have knew that. It's my favorite song on the album. Absolutely amazing thrash metal. I know there's a lot of people in the music community that's got this album. And I knew when I first heard it, it was going to make a top, it was going to be in my top 5 for sure. So, again, absolutely amazing album. If nobody's heard this album, my suggestion, listen to it, play it. Phenomenal album. Um, yeah, this, uh, since it came out that I bought earlier in the summer, it got a ton, a ton of playtime. Still gets a lot of playtime. So there you go, we're going with Onslaught. All right, so drum roll, please, for the number one album of 2020, this is my top album of 2020. I've seen a few people's videos now 
uh, where they ranked this album. It was low, really low. Surprised it was as low as it was. Um, you know, I, when I first heard it, it, it blew me away, and I, I love the album, and it gets a lot of, it still gets a lot of play time for me. Uh, John Schaefer and Hans I. Kirsch, and I'm talking about Demons and Wizards. This album is just an absolute, this is Demons and Wizards 3, by the way. Absolutely amazing album. I'm a huge fan of uh, Demons and Wizards from back to the original album that they did, oh man, what, in 2000? This album came out and it's one of those albums, the first time I heard it, it jumped right out at me. I absolutely love the album. It, it, every song is absolutely amazing. I would say Invincible is probably one of my favorite songs off this album. It came in at number one. I love the album. I play it still. I constantly play it. I remember all summer long, I would be at my, I'd be down at the lake, sitting at, sitting at my, in the gazebo, and I'd have my headphones on, and this is what I'd be playing, constantly playing this album. So there is my number one album of 2020. Hands Like Kirsch, John Shaver. This is Blind Guardian, or sorry, Demons and Wizards. Again, absolutely amazing album. So we'll run through this again, and just to refresh your memory, number five came in with The Mighty Armored Saint, followed by Solitude and Madness. This is a Vader, Poland, Death Metal, Testament, Titan of Creations. Absolutely amazing album. A little onslaught. And number one, again, Demons and Wizards. Absolutely amazing. There is my top five for 2020. Absolutely amazing year in metal. This was the, the live album that came out this year as well with the Iron Maiden, the, the Legacy of the Beast. Uh, again, I had heard it and I knew I was going to get it. Honorable mentions. How about Havoc 5? Absolutely amazing thrash metal album. Amazing thrash metal album. So there's Havoc, another great 2020 release. How about The Mighty Gravedigger? Another one. Fabulous album. Great album. This one almost cracked my top five, but it didn't. And this is Metal City. This is The Mighty Raven, the classic British New Wave of Heavy Metal. Thrashers, an amazing album. Uh, Motorhead, still my favorite song off the album. Um, how about we go with The Mighty Heathen? This album didn't jump right out at me at first. It's a good album. Uh, in the top 10, yes, absolutely. Uh, how about, geez, Metal Command. This this was in and out of my top five. The whole time I was making, I was picking my albums. This was in, out, in, out, in. And I would probably rank this at number six, if anything. This is just an absolutely amazing album. And how about, you can't forget Canadian Thrashers, uh, Annihilator. Came out earlier this year. Again, absolutely amazing album. So, there you go, music community. I hope you enjoyed my top five of 2020. Again, for any of these albums you've never heard, please do yourself a favor. Go out, check them out. They're absolutely amazing albums. For everyone else out there, thank you for the messages and wonder if I'm ever going to do a video again. Well, here I am, right? So thank you for keeping in touch with me. I hope you enjoy the video. Show me your top 20 albums of 2020. And like always, stay metal. Peace out.